Ahem. Hmm. Orders have come in for an emergency sortie. A major air engagement is taking place as we speak between Belka and the Allied forces near the border in the B-7R airspace, which Belka is committed to defend at all costs. B-7R, commonly known as the Round Table, has long been a symbol of Belka's political, military, and industrial might. However, at noon today, along with its lightning-quick commencement of Operation Battleaxe, the Allied forces officially announced the permanent abrogation of its non-aggression treaty at the Assembly of Nations, and simultaneously attacked B-7R with a massive fighter squadron. This mission may be our chance to finally end the Belkin War once and for all. I wish you luck. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see what we're looking at here. 29 air targets. Probably more aces coming in. Actually, no, it's just a bunch of frogfoots. Okay, a lot of MIGs. A lot of MIGs. Hmm. Alright, let's see how much this sets us back. Fulcrum, Thunderbird, Mirage, Prowler, Flanker, Eagle. Well, we have the Eagle. Let's see here. 72 missiles, huh? What about the 27s? Actually, no, that might be the 25 I'm thinking of. Ah, everybody's memeing about here. I just want my special plane, but oh well, nobody wants me. Wants me to actually go get my special plane, even though I'm not that far away. Really not. Hmm. All right, well... Despite everybody, I'm just going to buy the Terminator. <laughs> mm, don't need it. Don't need anything else. You'll get your a you'll get your 100% F15 playthrough later. We want to be the Ace of Swords, we'll be the Ace of Swords, but there's no flash with the Ace of Swords. There's no heroism with just doing the job properly. Okay, swat them all down. Heartbreak one. Heartbreak one. Ha! Hey, Captain Barlett, good to see you here.
Wizard? Wait a minute. Isn't Wizard a call sign in Ace Combat 7? I remember in the gameplay video for the Arsenal bird, there is like someone with the call sign of Wizard. Excuse me. Get your ass back here. I'm not letting a payday go away from that. No paydays away from that stupid bullshit I had to go through with Excalibur. But oh well. I didn't buy this plane to sit around. Or the missiles could fail to track anything. Jokers. That's Schwartz. Oh, they're in Fox Bats. Oh boy. Oh boy. Saw a lot of them. Hawkabine. Ha! Let's take down their flight lead. Or, well, how about that? They actually know their stuff. Child's play! Buddy boy! Target 
This one's gonna be fucking annoying. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Burn them out. Good shot, Pixie. Nothing to it. Nothing to it at all. All targets within combat airspace are down. Operation complete. Yo, honey. You still alive? Yep. Still here. in the B-7R engagement, the round table is finally toppled. According to our reports, the squadron led by that enemy ace in the Foxhound was the one designated to intercept and destroy fleeing aircraft. Thanks to you, our forces' morale is skyrocketing. <laughs> Bar's gotta move back a bit, but okay, there you go. Ah, well. Suppose I can't win them all with my bullshit ways, huh? My pulse raced at the astounding accomplishments of the mercenary known as Demon Lord. I forgot about my job and read everything I had on hand. Around the time Demon Lord received his nickname, South Belka showed signs of weariness regarding the war. Because the region was set up as a defense line to protect the birthplace of Belka in the north, the people's dissatisfaction had reached a climax. The cities declared themselves demilitarized and peacefully surrendered to the Allied forces. Unable to establish a defensive position, the Belkan army kept retreating to the north. The end of the war was fast approaching. I was given an opportunity to interview the former aces of the Belkin Air Force. Back then, they were the masters of the sky, and they had also known him. So I crossed the border to follow his trail. I wanted to capture the war and the demon lord from their point of view, to capture the voices of those who were there. Hmm. A pilot that lives by pride. Rot Team Commander, former member of the Belkin Air Force, Second Air Division, 52nd Tactical Fighter Squadron, Detlef Fleischer, also known as the Red Swallow. With his skill and demeanor, he was practically a poster boy for the armed forces. Today, he is a professor of history at the University of Dinsmark. Back then, I was bursting with pride. I wanted to lead us to victory, for Belka's honor. Staying where it was nice and warm wouldn't accomplish anything. My flight's mission was to maintain air superiority in area B-7R an essential area that we couldn't allow to be violated. That day, when I heard the order from HQ for reinforcements, I became angry. 
The station force was in chaos because of just two mercenaries. There was no way the mighty Belkin Air Force could lose to mere mercenaries. My pride was shot, and the round table was defiled. What went wrong? Whatever it may be, the fact remains I was forced to walk a different path in life than the one I had envisioned. Hmm. Gelb Teams number two, former member of the Belkin Air Force, 5th Air Division, 23rd Tactical Fighter Squadron, Rainer Altman. He flew the skies of Directus during the capital's liberation, and he's still there to this day. I met him above this very sky. I can still hear the sound of the missile alerts from that day. I received an order to fly to Directus on my way back from an intercept mission on the southern defense line. The order itself wasn't unusual. We kept being deployed from one mission to the next without receiving even the basic maintenance. But the situation was the same all around. We were late reaching the operational space. The station squadrons had already retreated and warning bells were going off in the city. And the people were looking up to his plane, high above the sky. He pursued me relentlessly. As soon as I thought I'd shook him off, there he was again. The never-ending sound of the missile alerts put fear in my heart for the first time. Hmm. This man was head of the command group and was known as the Vulture. Schwartz team commander, Dominic Zuboff, former member of the Belkin Air Force, 13th Night Fighter. My monitor went out and it didn't come back, but I could still see it over there. He fled after the final battle in order to avoid prosecution for various war crimes. He was still on the run <laughs> and being hunted as an escaped killer. Well, I don't feel Sorry bad about, about this guy. Accommodations. Goes with the business. I'm not active during the day. Back then, I was a shadow assassin, an escapee killer. Given the order, I'd even shoot down my own comrades. I received an order to take down deserting craft on that day. It was a typical assignment. But something unexpected happened. My target was no new recruit, but a top ace of the Belkin Air Force. And he just had to go and run straight into the chaos at the round table. The man was sharp, just like the rumors. But that wasn't the problem. The problem was that the mercenary team of Solo Wing and him were there. Thanks to them, I lost my target. I figured the least I could do was take them down in return. Of course, that was where my luck ran out. Every time I flew with mm. him, his skill stood out. He was unstoppable. It didn't matter where the battlefield was. The man had complete trust in his own powers. He was born for battle. A demon lord who struck down all opposition. He paid no heed to the troubles of those who flew with him. Before long, everyone had taken notice of him. More and more would show up to watch him go off on sortie. Mercenaries or maintenance crew, it didn't matter. People wanted to burn his image to their memories. Hell, they weren't the only ones. Am I gonna get my screen back now? No, apparently not. Okay. So my main monitor isn't... Wait, wait. Nah, I know what I gotta do. The Belkin forces are beginning to take flight. The industrial city of Hoffna is crucial to the enemy's industrial strategy and the heart of its war productions. The Allied forces have decided that all Belkin war production must be stopped to expedite the end of the war, and has requested our participation in this operation. The hmm, operation I wonder what's going to happen here. The bombing of ground facilities by the Allied forces bombers. Your mission mm -hmm. is to support those bombers and attack enemy facilities. Mm -hmm. Near 
total air supremacy over the target area, but don't let your guard down. There may still be sporadic resistance. Are we all ready for literal tornadoes of fire? But so the hang on here. One sec, folks. This, the picture's gonna go out, but I need to do that. One, wait one, wait one. Wait, wait, wait. There it is. All right, so in the cutscenes, as it was flashing in and out of resolution, I actually lost my main monitor so I couldn't see, but I was watching the OBS window. So we're good now. So yeah, now we're gonna burn Hoffman Lung to the ground, huh? Well, oh boy, but, hmm. One thing I should say about those cutscenes is that was actually rather nice. It kind of felt like I'd actually we we kind of been, you know, trancing along with the the story as we usually do in the Ace Combat games, and all of a sudden the story just kind of stopped us and went, "Hey, wait a minute. There are actual logical fucking like end endpoints to what you were doing." That was actually very well done, even though it was kind of it could it could have been a little bit more interspaced in between the actual engagements. Like I really should have seen those those the 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 interview aces after I, sh I after I shot them down in the battles with them. That would have been more logical, but that got us to come to a a really big halt there, which was good. It changes with the roots. Yeah, I know about that. well, I knew about that, but I didn't. I didn't necessarily know the full extent of it, but that's very interesting. That's something to give this game. That was, yeah, they show you a story about war, and then now you see, they see the, uh, you know, the aftermath of the people who survived and lived through it. And uh, quite like the, uh, quite like Red One there, I'm, uh, I was unfortunately forced to walk a different path with buying my meme plane. But now I can actually buy my meme plane, so we just took a little bit of a detour, I suppose. Well. Let's go buy that meme plane, shall we? Terminator did us well, I suppose. But, as someone neglected to tell me, I didn't actually get that much money. Hmm. Okay. One more for the cheap seats. We're just bombing Dresden. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> oh well. Go to it, all units. I've confirmed a burning city up ahead. That must mean the bombing started. Cover the Allied bombers. Eliminate all ground and aerial threats. Destruction over accuracy. Got it, sir. Blended it again, didn't see it, it was too late. Until, until it was too late. Whoops. It really should be brighter, but then I suppose that's just a weird, the weird quirk of my resolution. It looks fine to you guys, but it's a lot more blurry on my screen.
I'm taking care of that for you, buddy boy. Very nice, neat formation flying you got there, boys. Where was Jolter when I needed to gun down Excalibur on my own? I pray to no useless gods. Fair, fair and love and war, right? <laughs> Even the war crimes. Just kidding, war is actually really terrible, and I'm doing this just for virtual video game planes. Remember, kids, actually have standards. Oh! They might help you avoid Sam's a little better, too. Belkins were burning them down, too. Trash. This one's being rather energetic.
Hmm, looks like the Belkins aren't ready to give up yet. Your troops were burning down the same city. And then my screen goes up. Come on, come back, come back. There it is. Taking uh, a little bit too much stock in your stealth there, buddy boy. You're standing still while I shoot missiles at you. Whoa! Okay, that's a lot more fucking planes than I thought. Stealth. Yeah, small radar blips entire squadron of planes. to get into gun range when these people are fucking hocking missiles at me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, Pixie! Little help! Little help! Oh boy. Well, there are apparently some B2s in the center of that formation, so at least I can gun down those. Hey, Pix, you mind getting those guys off my tail? That's why I give you all these expensive weapons. Hey, Pixie! P -p -p Pixie! Pixie, are you gonna do anything at all? You're sitting there right there. What is this AI? You're just gonna fly by them? Or is the only thing you actually do is steal my kills? Pixie, come on, get one. There you go. Ah! Woo! Okay. Pretty sure that's a B2. I 
I gotta play fast and loose with this guy, so these guys. If they even hit me with a fucking Vulcan, I'm dead. Good one. Good, 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 good. Pixie saving my ass here. Slowly but surely. Come on, Pix. Line them up. Line them up. Oh, no! Damn it! Target fixation! Fucking goddamn it. Looking behind me. Ah. Ah! Just when I think it's over. Ah! This game is just making me angry. It's just making me just want to hate it. Why is that? Well, it's because I want to do something, and it's just really, really, really trying to stop me from doing that. Or rather, just dragging it out. Starter just shouldn't be that bad. And like I said, one of the selling points of Ace Combat is the fact that you can literally play the entire game with one plane, and it'll be fine. That's never really mattered all that well. The game's not that hard. It doesn't really ne necessitate better planes. Most of the planes in 5 are actually kind of redundant because all... Because, well, most of the planes just kind of... Most of the planes you can get at the start of the game, or rather, really all of them, just kind of... You can carry those through the end of the game with no real problems. I'm not really complaining, I'm just kind of annoyed. And rather, I'm also somewhat annoyed at the people in the chat not necessarily get what, getting what I'm doing. I do this shit all the time, and yet you guys are still somewhat not getting why. Ah, fine, fuck you. It's not really a challenge run so much as I want to get my plane.
I fell for the oldest Fonto meme in the book. I fell for the oldest Fonto meme in the book, crashing into the cargo planes. Ah. This playthrough is being kind of problematic, but whatever. Fine, we'll just get through it. I did it again. I constantly think I constantly think it's not going to be that bad since I've never had that problem before playing through these games. Only only suddenly in Ace Combat fucking five do I have that issue. Caution, yeah, caution. Rex may be closer than they appear. Oh well. Are we going up to 2 a.m. again? Probably. Alright, so let's see if we can get through this without fucking it up again. Well, I think behind me is my target. They look like Humvees. I don't know what's going on there, but they look like Humvees. They look like military targets. I ain't taking any chances here.
can't smash into it if it's 15 kilometers away. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll tell you when I'm, oh, I'm through all of it, Aruka. I'm somewhat angry at the game for not letting me do exactly what I wanted to do and making my life difficult, but I suppose that'll go away with the second playthrough when I don't... Well, when I can play whatever plane that I want. But I don't actually have to sprint for the wy wyvern. But I want the wyvern. So the game's gonna make me suffer for it. So be it. You would think going after all these targets would give me more money, though. You would think clearing the map nearly every mission would give me more money. Splash, splash. Oh, they're separating. Can I get that missile back on target? I can. I can. I got it. Just let it laze towards the target a little bit, then splash on target. Just go, bring the, bring the, the, the target back in. It's still got fuel. You expect me to believe that arson and indiscriminate bombing is war? There's no order, CL1. It's a collision of powers. Even war has a set of rules to follow. And suddenly, stealth planes. Alright, that's the last radar guided. Alright, let's go jousting. Now we're a little bit better because we saved all the ammo. Go kill things. Oh, for the love of fucking Christ. What's jamming me? I like firing missiles at things because it's quick and easy. Oh boy, he's leading me. Okay, we got a dip here. Oh. Oh, hey! It's a prowler! Whoa. I don't know where this. I didn't see this guy before. He didn't show up before. So I don't know where he where he came from. Where the fuck are you? Pixie! Pixie! The guys are on my ass again! Wait, I think that missile lo- I think I- I think- I think that missile changed targets in midair. I don't know. I don't think I shot it at that guy, though. I got my targets, but there's Vulcan fire all over the goddamn place. 
There he is. Oh. No, it's an... It's an F-18. Get back here, you asshole. Scope's clean again. I don't know where the fuck that guy came from, but oh well. It's a growler. Right, right, right. The upgraded one. Right, they replaced the prowler with that. Now, there's probably not much left of this town after this whole little, ex you know, this whole little excursion. The Belkins are bombing it. We're bombing it. What's really left of this town after this battle? I don't know. Smoldering graveyard, most likely. Motherfucker. All right, fine. You want to joust? We'll joust. <sighs> Nobody knew why they were fighting anymore. All I felt at that point was sadness for the world. That's why I... Had a really, really quick, abrupt turnaround. But oh, it's okay, I become the Dragon Lord. Pursued by Allied forces, the Belkin forces have taken flight, abandoning Hoffa. Without military production capabilities, Belka is in a bind. We were also able to confiscate samples of what seemed to be experimental weapons from the abandoned war factories before Belka had time to use them. This is now where they pulled my wyvern. <laughs> 